all right guys so as you can see we got the 1115 patch details here for captain america and the punisher so we're going to take a look at these two new uniforms first and foremost they're going to be coming in at black friday sale prices so 50 percent discount the patch is going to be applied in waves tonight you can expect to start seeing people get the update around 11 p.m est so with that being said let's jump into this thing so first and foremost captain america uniform bonus is being buffed significantly his all attack is going up from 20 percent to 40 percent so they're doubling it he's also for the first time going to be able to decrease chain hit damage received when he's attacked by 10 percent and interestingly enough the second half of his uniform bonus is being changed previously this was when he was hit there was a 50 percent chance now it's when he's below 70 percent hp there is a 100% chance that this is going to activate. So he gets 100% chance to be immune to damage for four seconds. And then he also gets 25% all attack, all defense, 20% critical rate, and 1% all speed. Interestingly, before this was 20 seconds on the cooldown, now it's 15 seconds. This is significantly better than what he had before, so I'm not going to complain about this because this 40% attack goes a long way, especially since it's going to be there all the time. However, I am kind of interested to see why they decided to give him decrease the chain hit damage when he's attacked as opposed to giving him chain hit damage when he's attacking. Moving on, we have his tier 3 skill. So all of the buffs here that used to last for 3 seconds were actually increased to 7 seconds. And in addition to that, they actually removed his damage accumulation. He had damage accumulation up to 1% for 15% of his attack. So I'm interested to see where they actually put that. His leadership has actually been increased from 30% HP to now 45% HP. His four star passive is staying the same as his previous uniform, 60% chance to remove all debuffs for six seconds with a 10 second cooldown. Okay, so they're changing how his tier two passive works. Previously, you had to use his fifth skill to get all of these buffs. Now it's gonna be here all the time. There was like a slight one second, maybe half a second gap where these buffs were not activated because there was a seven second cooldown and a six second duration of most of these buffs. So it's interesting to see that they actually changed this so that it's applied all the time now. So the first skill has stun and damage immunity. This was always the case. The second skill decreases the enemy's ability to recover HP. He also has fracture. Now here's where things get spicy. We have a counter attack on the third skill with iframe ignore, damage accumulation, and this is when he's attacking as opposed to when he's hit. This is what he had previously. We have penetration, it's a 40% chance to penetrate for five seconds. We have damage immunity. His damage accumulation actually accumulates 20% of the pure damage when he's attacking. To put this in perspective, most characters actually have 10% and 10% is actually really good. Like for example, Gore, he accumulates 10% when he's attacking. Um, Captain America accumulates to up to 20%. Okay, this is interesting. Now you got my attention because Captain America looks like he's gonna be a solid PvP character. That's kind of where I wanted them to go with this version of Cap. If you've seen my video, I said, listen, to convince people to tier 4 Captain America, you're going to have to do something wild. You're going to have to put him into a position where he's never been before with any of his previous uniforms. And this might do it. You know, you don't have to wait for his tier 3 to get his accumulation anymore, which took like 3 rotations. So this might actually make him significantly stronger for PvE. But then at the exact same time, the counter attack and the iframe ignore, two things he did not have before with stronger damage accumulation, is definitely going to make him a consideration for PvP, especially since Cap always had really, really good HP. The cooldown time on this, however, is going to be 6.5 seconds, so you can't just like spam this counter attack, but it's going to be interesting. Hopefully it lasts for a little while and it does enough damage to one shot, then you can possibly consider a tier 4 Captain America for PvP. Four skill has burn shock stun invincibility a 20 percent attack which was not there before now the fifth skill has bleed silence paralysis 25 percent hp recovery a 50 percent attack buff oh man they're stacking this guy with a whole bunch of attack oh my goodness to put this in perspective previously this was a 35 percent attack buff and this was the only thing he had now he has the 50 here the 20 here the accumulation on his one through five Plus, he still has a 50% attack on his tier 3. If all of these are stackable and none of them is replacing each other, oh my gosh, bro. When you hit the 50, then the 20, get the accumulation, and then stack it on a tier 3 rotation, it's going to be nutty. 
Plus he has 100% ignore dodge, bro, for seven seconds now. And these buffs last longer. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, Cap might actually be a demon. Okay, so let's take a look at the strongest version of the Punisher that we've ever seen. This is going to be interesting, boys. So increases basic damage dealt to supervillain by 50%. This should have been 150%. I'm sorry to tell you guys, you guys uh, dropped the ball on this one. This should have been at least 120% like Ghost Rider, bro. I don't know if you guys read the same comic run that I read, but Punisher is actually a demon, okay? 50% extra damage to villains, this guy is deleting them, okay? He's doing 500% extra damage to villains. Anyways, I also don't like the fact that they removed the superhero part because before with the Cosmic Ghost Rider uniform, it was actually 50-50. 50% extra damage to supervillains, 50% extra damage to superheroes, and he had damage reduction. So they actually took out the damage reduction out of here, and then they gave him... 40% chance to increase his critical damage by 80% on critical attacks. This is cool, but they should have kept the 50% extra damage to superheroes and they should have made this like a 150 buff to villains, me personally, okay? All right, so for the leadership, they actually bumped this up by 5%. Ain't nobody really using Punisher's leadership. 30% is like mid. Anyways, I'm really happy to see that they gave him a new four-star passive because it was really, really bad before. It was decreased his skill cooldown time by 10%. That was like really, really bad. Anyways, so now he has 40% more HP, which is amazing. Increases skill damage and bonus damage by 40 and 35% decreases basic damage received by 30 percent so before it was 25 percent damage reduction here they put 30 percent here so he still has it that's dope and then for dark awakening which is his new tier 2 passive critical damage increases by 25 percent he has ignore dodge by 40 percent before he had 15 percent ignore defense and then 35 percent ignore dodge so i'm happy with the new tier 2 passive plus for the first time ever a character is coming in and he decreases additional pierce damage taken by 50 percent this is what you see pop up in gore the god butcher's fight when you walk into the blackness and this is also what happens in the second half of the fight against Dormammu. So the fact that they're starting to put this on characters now is actually kind of crazy. It means that eventually PvP characters are going to be able to reduce the amount of pierce damage that they take, which is going to make PvP a little bit more interesting. I don't know if Punish is going to be a PvP character per se, so I'm not too sure why they gave this to him instead of Captain America. But let's continue and see if he has the potential, as you can see. So we have Fracture on the first skill, Bleed on the second skill with Stun and Silence. So maybe he could be an ABX character. I doubt it with Tier 4 being a thing. Tier 4 characters are just so much better than Tier 3 characters in most cases for alliance battle extreme and we have quite a few heroes already and by the way guys he is still staying as a superhero believe it or not even though in this comic run um yeah he, he's kind of demonic okay anyways third skill counter attack when defending against enemy attacks iframe ignore so same as cap he has counter attack and iframe ignore however he recovers 30 percent of his max hp Captain America recovers 25% like he always did on his previous uniform. We have 60% chance to penetrate here. We have 5 seconds of damage immunity. We have 50% attack, 30% defense, 6% speed. This is on a 14 second cooldown. So you cut that in half, that's 7 seconds. We got paralysis here, incapacitation. We got a little bit of burn action here, 50% attack. Again, they're loving that 50-50. Okay, I love it too. And then we got 20% critical rate. Then we got paralysis and invincibility. So not as much as Captain America. They didn't even bother to give him damage accumulation on his one through five. More than likely, it's gonna be on his tier three, but I would have preferred it on his one through five. So hopefully, you can use his tier three skill every other rotation so let's see um what you're joking they gave him invincibility a damage proc 60 percent attack no damage accumulation you're joking so his damage better just be really really high kind of like how loki came out and his damage was just really high even without damage accumulation otherwise this is gonna be a dud bro like, it's very rare for a character to be incredibly strong without damage accumulation for PvE content. Okay, so, increases all basic attack by 100% for 7 seconds. Ignores all damage over max HP plus 15% for 3 seconds. So, basically, if the hit is higher than his max HP, which Cap always has really good HP, 
um, more than likely he's going to become unkillable for three seconds, but it's under specific circumstances. It's not like an unkillable passive or unkillable artifact. It's very interesting. I'm going to love to see how this works out. So it's partially offensive, partially defensive. Hopefully this 100% attack makes him hit really, really hard. But with all of the other buffs that they gave him on this uniform, maybe this is exactly why they went half and half for his tier four skill to balance him out a little bit. So no new artifact for Captain America. He already had an artifact. Punisher's artifact looks pretty interesting though. 50% chance to remove all debuff received and he ignores non-boss enemy damage decrease by 20%. So very, very PVP centric. However, this is what annoys me. It's a 25 second cooldown. So for me, I wouldn't personally chase this artifact for Punisher because the debuff removal you're gonna get from a leadership for PVP anyways. And the ignore boss enemy decrease is nice, but 25 seconds to get it kind of yikes, bro. Anyways, moving on. Black Bolt is also getting buffed. They're increasing the all attack from 40% to 50%. They're also making it so that he has additional pierce damage by 8% for 10 seconds. This is massive, okay? So Black Bolt is gonna be hitting like a truck for GDR because even in the second half of the fight, that's still 4% pierce damage. That's gonna be there now for 10 seconds, which was not there before. Or, by the way, we have the uniform options here for Captain America and the Punisher. Captain America's uniform has Black Widow, which is the newest one. We have Gambit, okay, Scarlet Witch. They're going back like three uniforms ago. This is just disgusting. I don't know what that what that is about, bro. But we have Heimdall and Sharon Rogers. Those are recent. We have Daredevil, Elektra, Psylocke, America Chavez, and Ebony Ma. All of these are the most recent uniforms for these characters, so I don't have a problem with that. But holy bro, they went back to all new, all different for Scarlet Witch. Whoever did this, you need a slap, bro. Anyways, we have a growth mission here. And then we have a ranking event coming for them after. Gold mission, we have some event bosses. And then we have rank one black antimatter and chaos norm stones. Also, art book chance up event for those of you guys who want to get these art books. Obviously, the only card you want is actually all new, all different, but you don't necessarily need it for the best PvE or PvP sets in the game. And surprise, surprise, for the first time ever, they brought back a seasonal uniform. So this explains everything. So they buff Black Bolt because they're trying to sell it again. Maybe it didn't sell as well as we thought. So this is a special event, boys. If you missed out on Black Bolt, now that they buffed him for the second time, okay, now it might be a real buff. We'll actually have to wait and see. You might want to pick this up. This is not something that happens very often, and this is not something that's happening because it's Black Friday, because if it was, they would have been selling all of the other seasonal uniforms as well, but they're selling Black Bolt specifically because of the fact that he wasn't as strong as they thought he should be, which is wild when you consider the fact that his damage output is the highest in the game right now. And before they nerfed him, which was after the sale ended, people were kind of content with his offenses. They were kind of disappointed in his survivability a little bit, but offensively he was delivering. But the fact that they nerfed him after the sale left, now they're buffing him again and then putting him back on sale is kind of wild. Okay, so if you have Black Friday crystals that you saved to buy like two uniforms, maybe you want to put it on Black Bolt. I don't know what to tell you, man, but I'm going to give you guys some content on Black Bolt at tier four in this new uniform, and then you can make a decision for yourself. That's kind of wild. 